Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cricket World TV. Jim Wright here with John Pennington. Hello, Jim. Now, John, what an amazing young cricket we have to talk about today. I wasn't really too sure which way it was going to go, but uh, it kept on the edge of our seats all the way through. England, Bangladesh, of course. Well, an incredible game went, went right down to the wire. A bit of history being made, well, a lot of history being made throughout the day, but in the end, England just about doing enough to seal the series. OK, well, it was uh, a good game of cricket. It was a, not an overly high-scoring game, but I think it was a score which England initially probably felt they'd given Bangladesh too many runs. That's right, Bangladesh batted pretty well. They scored 260 for six. Tammy Mitbar came in, smashed the ball early on. But a really you know, impressive half century. So Mushfiqur Rahim made 76, and Imran Kais who made 63. They put on 90 together. Really pushed England on. A bit of a, a sort of flurry of runs at the end as well. So England conceding a lot more than they had in the first game. Tim Bresnan bowled nicely, three for 51. A couple of wickets for Graham Swan, but uh, a target of 261 was always going to be a stiff target, a stiff challenge. Yeah, good to see Tim Preston there bowling, I think, with good control. He's really getting to uh, the ball in the right position. Uh, at that part of the innings, quite a difficult task for him there. But yeah, in reply, England are set 261 to win and uh, had a few little early jitters along the way. It wasn't all plain sailing. No, certainly not. Alistair Cook batted nicely as well. He made 60, but there wasn't a lot else. A lot of batsmen deciding to sweep with uh, fatal results in terms of getting out. And it was left to Owen Morgan, who played one of the great ODI innings. 110 not out he was. He's made an ODI century for England. He's the first man to score an ODI century for two different countries, which is uh, quite remarkable. Eight fours and two sixes he struck, including uh, 16 off the penultimate over to effectively win the game. They got it down to 16 in two overs, which, uh, mind you, you know, with two wickets left, anything could have happened. But he, he took the game with a scruff of the neck and uh, brought it home for England. And of course, with Stuart Broad not uh, being pushed down to number 11, I think he's got a bit of a back injury. And not probably batting at his best, and it really was getting nearly bang the game for Bangladesh. That's right, he got very close. Great effort from Shakib Al Hassan and Abdul Razak, the two left arm spinners. Abdul Razak, during the course of, uh, in fact, when he got rid of Paul Collingwood LBW, became his country's leading uh, wicket taker in ODI, so lots of history. Yeah, well, Captain Cooks, two from two then. So That's he's right. doing nothing wrong in one day cricket at England, the moment. England, of course, never lost to Bangladesh in an ODI. He's kept that record intact. One more game to come, though. Well, I'll be, I'm interested to hear from uh, actually some friends who well, actually had the game, so uh, we're going to hear what they've yeah. got to say about the atmosphere. I know there's a lot of noise every time Bangladesh took a wicket or, or, or got some runs there, so well done to them for that. So uh, England move on from there. So uh, more cricket coming up though. Plenty more cricket to look forward to, Jim. We've got New Zealand taking on Australia. That uh, fantastic 2020 series was tied. They now play a five-match ODI series, the first game in Hamilton tomorrow. Then we've got the West Indies taking on Zimbabwe. Well, the different 2020 match on Sunday with Zimbabwe defending 105. They get underway with their five-match ODI series in Guyana and then the third and final ODI between Bangladesh and England is in Chittagong on Friday and lots more in between. We talked about Owen Morgan there as being one of the innovators of, of one-day cricket and I think with Brendan McCullum showing us what else can be done with the McCullum scoop or whatever, whatever you want to call it, uh, really quite extraordinary from him. His 100 the other day. So, uh, fantastic cricket, and uh, there'll be more to come from us. And uh, hopefully, you'll be watching us here on Cricket World.